to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince, and I'm an Army veteran. Today, I have a special guest that has helped me and my family with our veteran health problems. She wears the title such as Mom and Doctor. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and you can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Reddit for more content. And if you're a veteran and love to share your stories for veterans and a non-veteran who would love to share your resources for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Welcome to Vet Talk, and I got the great Dr. Janine on the line. Let's go, let's go. How you doing today, Dr. Janine? I am doing wonderful, and I'm so blessed to finally be here. Um, we, you know, we've been trying to make this happen, and it was my fault that it took a minute, but I'm so glad to be here because I, I got a lot to say, and I got to try to say it quickly. <laughs> well, it's the Lord's timing, so what we're going to do is we're just going to get into it, and just to catch people up to where we are right now, you was basically just talking about your heart for veterans and why you wanted to come on Vet Talk to share what you do. Yes. So I've always had a special place in my heart for veterans. Um, you know, I really recognize the sacrifice that was given um, and everything that it means. And I appreciate that. And I, you know, I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for that. And really, I just want to, I want to share some hope. Um, I've been in natural health since 2006. And the very first thing that I learned was that the body heals itself. And I know sometimes you're like, what? But we were intelligently designed, you know, God put an energy in us that heals. And all we need to do is figure out how to get enough of the interference out of the way and how to give the body That's the right. raw materials to do that and that it can absolutely can. And so, you know, one of the, I know, I know you got some specific questions, but I just want to talk about the hope that exists and just some basic yes, things that people can That's look okay. at. Go ahead and talk. Help. Yeah, Go ahead. So can I just jump right in? <laughs> yes, ma'am. So I'm a doctor, a naturopathic doctor, and um, basically I just look at the body holistically. Now, in the typical medical model, which is what you will find when you go to the VA, um, typical allopathic medicine, there's a really defining line between wellness and sickness. If you go in, you have a specific symptom or you have some type of test that comes back positive, they're going to give you that diagnosis, which is just a title, you know, whatever was assigned to that particular set of symptoms. Um, and then that that diagnosis is usually attached to a specific treatment, either a medication or some type of procedure. I know you know that well. Um, so, for yes, instance, right. you go in and you have a migraine, they're going to say, OK, well, you need this particular you know, painkiller. Um, you go in, you got a back pain. They're going to say, okay, we're going to give you some pain pills and some muscle relaxers. You know, there's always something really specific, not really looking at the whole person and who's actually sitting there and why these things are actually going on. So in natural medicine, we look at um, all the shades of gray that exist between wellness and sickness. So it's not like this. It's like this. And there's all this area where you're starting to pull away from your best health, where you may not feel right. You know, something is wrong. Your body's not performing the way it should. Um, you okay. may start having problems with your energy, your vitality, um, you know, you're, you're, you can't digest properly, you're getting gas, you're getting bloating, your blood pressure, uh, cholesterol, all these things. Um, but a lot of times oh, yeah. when you go to the doctor, they'll either tell you that all your tests are normal or they'll tell you that, yes, you've got this XYZ disease, but the only way you can really deal with it is by taking this medication for the rest of your life. And so- You sound like you know the VA. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> It's just common. It's common. Um, and a lot of the things that are commonly found that they'll tell you are common parts of aging are not normal. They're just common. And so what I like to do is look at all the ways that you can optimize your health. So in that big gray area between wellness and sickness, there's a lot of factors that play into that. We have lifestyle habits. Um, and this can be things even that are healthy, but we may be getting too much of it. Like, for instance, somebody that wants to go to uh, boot camp six days a week, but they have a full life. And so it becomes too much stress, um, sleeping habits, um, all of those kind of things, you know, how you work, how much you move things like physical stress. Now, physical stress can be things you may not even think about like surgeries. You may have had, you know, some type of injury, um, some type of surgery, some type of scar on your body. And that can be affecting your nervous system and affecting your health down the line. Even women that have C-sections and things like that, it can affect their health down the line. Dental work, all wow. of these things can play a part. Mental stress, we all know that's a big one. 
Um, there are not a lot of good solutions in medicine. But what I want you to understand is that mental stress can oftentimes come from nutritional deficiencies and your body just not having the nutrients needed to be able to cope with that. So when you get your nutrition right, it has a huge, huge, huge impact on your mental health. And then toxins. Um, now, one of the reasons why I love to help veterans understand this is that um, you're exposed to a lot of toxins in your career, um, from the shots to the chemicals to the deployments where you get exposed to different, you know, different chemicals, radiation, all of these different things can store up in your body. And your body may have a symptom as it's trying to deal with this, but when we help you to detoxify, those things can go away. So in a nutshell, <laughs> um, I really want to help you to understand some of the ways that you can move yourself closer to optimal health and not just um, deal with the symptoms, which is often what happens in the VA. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You answered a lot of questions. I'll be honest to you. You made it so easy to wear. We really don't even have to go over the questions. But the one thing I do want you to elaborate on is um, when I read and read your um, bio, it talked about you being a mom. So the question I have is, what does that mean to you? And how does that play out um, in your life as a doctor? Like, how does that play out? Wow. Well, you know, that's that I have to say, that's my most important title. Um, I only have one child. She's 16. And uh, it's been just just my honor and pleasure to raise her and to be with her. And, you know, I was never into running the streets or having a lot of girlfriends or doing this, doing that. I'm a homebody. I've always been a homebody. So I love spending time, you know, just with her um, as she's starting to age, she's becoming a budding foodie. So she loves to go out. She loves to eat. She loves, you know, different ethnic foods. We love to travel. And so really everything that I've, that I've done is, has been able to allow me to spend the time with her and to be there for her and to, you know, structure my life in a way that I've got the time and I can do things with her. Um, unfortunately I am a single mom, but you know, it, it's been such an honor and a blessing to be able to have work that I love. Yesterday, my grandmother came, my grandmother lives with me as well. My grandmother came in the room yesterday and, um, she says, you know, she heard me laughing. She says, you're always laughing. You're always happy. Are you all <laughs> like, this is by design. I surround myself with pleasurable things, pleasurable people, you know, um, life is too short to be around energy drains and, and people that suck you dry. So yeah, my family is number one, everything to me. Um, and it's just so amazing. My daughter's going to be 17 and seeing her grow up like right before my eyes, it's like, where did the time go? It's amazing. Yes, ma'am. And so the one thing I do want to ask you, and I, and I wrap this up and put it in like three different questions. So do you have products for mental health, sleep, and physical health? Do you have things, solutions? Because I know most people are like, okay, well, she's, she's giving us all this information, but do she have anything that can help me? Absolutely. <laughs> so the interesting thing, and it's just so amazing, um, when people give it a shot, it's usually just the mindset that keeps you blocked, no, feeling like there's only one way. Um, when I was in chiropractic school, one of the things that we had a little slogan when we were talking about allopathic medicine, and we would say, there's a pill to sleep, a pill to wake, a pill for everybody ache, and when in doubt, cut it out. And we tried to do the exact opposite. Um, what I'd use is whole food supplementation. So I use a lot of supplements that are designed to give the body the raw materials, the genuine replacement parts so that it can heal itself. Um, and the reason why is because a lot of the foods, we're just not getting the nutrients that we need in our foods. Number one, a lot of us are not eating the right foods. And number two, um, even when we're trying to eat the right foods, the foods don't have the same amount of nutrients as they used to because the soils are divitalized, the crops are not rotated properly. And so I believe that it's very, very hard to be optimized and live healthy in this toxic world without support. Now, one of the things that I pride myself in doing is that I always give people lifestyle factors that they can do as well. So even if yes, you're not yeah. able to buy the supplements, there's still things that you can do. So let's talk about stress. I'm going to give you my number one stress buster. Um, stress is a big one. Now, stress is mitigated in our bodies by 
a couple systems. One is the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. And this is just our nervous system that works in the background that we don't have to think about. It governs our breathing and our heart rate and our glands and our digestion. And back in the day when we were um, facing, you know, lions, tigers, and bears, and now currently <laughs> when we're facing traffic and bills and gas prices <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. and all of this stuff every day that we have to deal with, our body gets stuck in that stress mode. It gets stuck in the process of trying to to handle that stress. I call it stuck on go. And so we kind of it kind of tenses us up. Now this can cause stress, this can cause anxiety, this can cause heart palpitations, it can cause high blood pressure, all these kind of things. But there's something physical that you can do, even if you can't take anything. You go, you lay down, you put your feet up on an ottoman or up on it, like up on a, um, an ottoman or over the couch or on a big stack of pillows. And basically, you just lay there with your legs up and breathe for 15 minutes. It's literally game changing. Um, it's almost like you feel a switch where your body shuts down that sympathetic stress, stress, go, go mode and puts you That's in right. Paris, which is rest, healing, recuperation. Um, if you do this every day, it teaches your nervous system how to relax. And so it's very empowering to do that. Another thing that's really, really good for your nervous system and helping your body with the stress response is called grounding. Brother Vince, have you heard about grounding? Yeah. You know, grounding Yes, ma'am. I have my earthing card. I have it in my wallet <laughs> and okay. I put it under my head when I sleep. <laughs> yes. So grounding or earthing, um, this is something that you can look up. It's so easy. Back in the day when Jesus walked, they walked in barefoot or they walked in leather soled shoes. All of our shoes are rubber. Okay. So rubber blocks the, the healthy transmissions of frequencies from the earth and that calms our body. So all you have to do is get outside barefoot. You can go out in your yard, you can do this on grass, on dirt, or on concrete. It doesn't work on asphalt, so you can't do it in the middle of the street. But you can do it in your driveway. If, you don't, if you're one of those people that scare the bugs, you don't want to put your feet in the grass, you can sit in a lawn chair and put your feet on your driveway. Um, but you just want to reconnect. This is why we feel so good when we go to the beach, because there's, there's something called negative ions that come from the earth, and it literally relaxes our nervous system and takes out inflammation and stress. So this is another thing that's free that you can do every day. And I promise you, you will feel the difference. Um, vacation is medicine. But if you can't go to the beach, just go out. And get in the car. <laughs> now, he mentioned um, an earthing card. There are devices where those earth frequencies are actually imprinted in the device that you can keep in your pocket or you can wear. Um, and I do that, too, because we're exposed on so many sides from so many different harmful frequencies, the, the 5G towers and the Wi-Fi and everybody's cell phone, um, but getting outside, reconnecting, even going on a walk, you know, in the forest and on a trail, um, you don't have to be barefoot. You can lean up against the tree. Anything that's planted, you can also ground yes, against. Lean up against the tree, say your prayers and just relax there. So many different ways, but I do also recommend supplementation. So I have it right here. One of my number one supplements is called OptiAdrenal. The adrenal glands sit on top of your kidneys and your back, and they actually help your body deal with all this stress, physical, mental, emotional, nutritional, all the kind of stress that we have. Um, and they get depleted. They need a lot of B vitamins. They need a lot of zinc. They need a lot of vitamin C. So giving them back those nutrients allows them to repair. So this is why I think it's very, very important. That's one of the number one supplements I actually end up finding people need in my practice. Um, and most people, I would say nine out of 10, start off on some type of adrenal support because we've just got stuff bombarding us at all times. And until we give those nutrients back and allow our body to heal that, we don't have as great of an ability to cope. So now, while we're talking about stress, I wanna talk about mental health because mental health um, I know is a big thing um, with veterans and there's, there's so many different things, but there's two things that are really, really important. Number one, um, exercise. Exercise has been shown in every study that there has been to be more effective than medications in terms of depression. And it doesn't have to be a lot. A lot of times people get overwhelmed thinking, well, I don't have time. You know, I can't go to the gym and be in there for two hours. It doesn't have to be a lot. It can be 15 minutes. One of the best exercises, and you're going to laugh, especially the men, 
but <laughs> one of the best exercises for um, your mental health is actually rebounding. Have you heard of rebounding? Yeah. You're talking about like as far as playing basketball, going up, get the ball, well, catch the ball. I was talking about <laughs> the mini, the mini trampoline. <laughs> so the, it probably has the same effect though. The mini trampoline okay. um, or, or oh, a rebound, wow. something you just bounce on. It's like a mini trampoline. But that helps to detoxify your body, helps to move the lymph, it helps to massage your organs. And they say that it actually stimulates the production of those those happy, feel-good um, hormones. So if you think about it, when was the last time you saw somebody who was frowning and upset while they were jumping? Jumping always makes you happy. You know, think about <laughs> on a trampoline. So get in the little rebounder. You can literally just jump. 10 minutes a day at your, in your house. You can jump while you're watching TV, while you're watching the game. You can get an exercise ball and just sit on, you know, sit on the edge of it like it's a chair and bounce. Yes, it's man. that bouncing motion that's really, really good. Um, oh, wow. So that's one thing, exercise. Then the other thing is vitamin D. Vitamin D levels. If there was, if there was only one nutrient that I would say, get your levels checked and make sure you optimize them, that's going to be vitamin D. So, a lot of doctors don't check it and it baffles my mind. I am happy to say more doctors are starting to check it, but vitamin D has this huge reference range. It goes from 30 all the way up to 100. Guess where it needs to be for optimization? It needs to be like way over here. It needs to be 50 to 90. It needs to be really high. So most people that are not on it, I text, I test them and I'm seeing teens and 20s. I mean, most people are really, really low. But vitamin D is very important for your mental health. Lack of vitamin D literally causes depression. Um, there's a whole syndrome called seasonal affective disorder where people in the Northeast, you know, during the winter, they because it's gray so much, they don't get yes, that much sun. And so they have a, a more, um, uh, a higher level of vitamin D deficiency and it causes depression. So vitamin D, in addition to that, it is the number one thing you can do for your immune system. It's been shown over and over and over to be more effective than all these flu shots and things like that. It helps with any That's type right. of upper, upper respiratory virus, and it's preventive against cancers, particularly the cancers that plague my people, like colon cancer and breast cancer. So vitamin D level is huge. Get it checked. Even if you're not getting it checked, it's okay to take it. It's almost impossible to overdose on vitamin D. You have to be okay. a very special kind of person to do that. I have one person who has done it <laughs> by not following my directions, <laughs> but it's very, very hard to do that. Um, so, you know, I would recommend get your, get yourself a good vitamin D3 with K2 supplement. Take about 5,000 IUs a day for a maintenance dose. If you're low, you can go up to 10,000. And this is just nutrition, you know? I'm not here to cure, yes, well. diagnose, mitigate any diseases. This is just nutrition. It's giving your body the nutrients that we were designed to use to heal. Thank you so much for the information. And before we close out, the question I wanted to ask just so that you can close out is, okay, so say for instance, I'm a new person. Um, I have issues, but I don't know what my issues are. How would I start my process with you Absolutely. to start, you know, trying to come to a resolve? So... Brother Vince, there's one thing right before I answer that question, and if I lose my train of thought, you can get me to repeat it because I thought of something that I really want to address. I know okay. that um, pain pills are handed out like they're water, and yes, even right. over-the-counter pain pills, a lot of people think that these are okay and they're not harmful because they're over-the-counter. And I get them. I tend to get emotional, so don't mind me. But um, you're fine. Pain pills are detrimental to people's quality of life and even to their very life itself. Just want to give you an example. And this is something you can go verify. You can go look it up. Tylenol, over-the-counter little Tylenol that everybody thinks is just innocuous, is the number one cause of liver failure. Tylenol is the number one cause of liver transplantation needs. It's extremely toxic. Um, it is implicated in a lot of issues with children and, and their shots. And then they've been told to give them Tylenol and it can cause the body to not be able to detoxify. It's a big deal. So I don't want you to think that just because you can buy something over the counter, it's okay. Um, ibuprofen causes stomach bleeding. You know, these, these insects, they cause stomach bleeding. That's part of their mechanism. They're trying to produce some type of counter irritation so your body doesn't perceive the pain. But I say all that to say that 
whenever you have a pharmaceutical, there are side effects. There's major and minor side effects. And if you just read the label, one of my um, favorite sites to use is just drugs.com. You can look up any medication and you can see exactly, you know, what it does. And, um, and it's shocking. It's very shocking. But I wanted yeah. to mention so that I don't forget to mention it. There are natural solutions that are so powerful. I have one that's my favorite thing called the natural inset pack. This was designed to be a natural pain pill replacement type of thing. Um, but it not only helps the body with pain, it helps the body with healing. So if you have any type of injury, whether it's a sports injury, whether it's, you know, injury from surgery, anything, it helps the body to heal. It helps to heal three times faster than, um, than taking, you know, these pain pills and things like that. Because they actually, while they might help with pain, they have all these side effects and they actually slow down the healing. So I wanted to get that out there. Now, the way that I work no, is- that was great. Uh, yeah, that's just something people need to know. Um, there's certain things that, you know, when you need it, you need it right then. So there's certain things that I think every household should have in the medicine cabinet. The natural inset pack is one. I also highly recommend um, something called an exposure protection pack. That has all the nutrients that were research backed to help prevent um, the big C, the big COVID. <laughs> um, so it, it helps you, you know, if you've been around people that might be sick. Um, but also if you get sick, whether it's, you know, a cold, flu, whatever it is, it just gives your body all the nutrients so that you can get turned around quickly. And, and it just, works. It works because we yeah. survived the pandemic with exposure back. I have to say, uh, and I'll say it, I, I'll put it out here, you know, um, you know, my church, I always tell people I live in Atlanta. My church is in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> But um, I was during during the height of COVID, I was traveling there once a month, educating and making sure people had what they needed. And, you know, through our faith and through giving our body the nutrients that that they needed to heal, nobody passed away. You know, it was just amazing to see everybody just being good. You know, yeah, did yes, people get sick? Of course they did. We live in the world. Yeah, we got sick. Yes, and then we went home, we took our stuff and then we got better and then we kept it moving. So <laughs> it's um it's a blessing to 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 not only have faith but to know that you have solutions and um yes, let me get to to your question. So the way that I that I provide those is number one through education. Um if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I go live most Thursdays and I do some type of natural health. Thursdays. Yeah, thriving Thursdays. We're doing a Zoom tomorrow. <laughs> but on Thriving Thursday, I do some type of natural education where I talk about a certain topic. I tell you what contributes to it, you know, all the things that you can do to empower yourself and what nutrients you need for that. And then in my practice, um, I see people here in the office and then remotely across the globe using a lot of different techniques, but all designed to basically assess, find out what's got you stuck. Um, what areas you need some healing in and then give you the nutrition in terms of supplements and in terms of lifestyle changes to help with that. So I have remote programs where I do comprehensive lab work. Now, when I say comprehensive, it's not just a CBC. I'm looking at whether or not you've got too much inflammation, um, how your prostate's doing, how some of your hormones are doing, how your stress system is doing, um, your A1C, whether or not you're pre-diabetic, because we can actually make a lot of changes and get things reversed that they will tell you are not reversible. A lot of things that they tell you you have to live with, you don't have to live with. You just have to find it and fix it. So we're taking a really early look um, so that we can find things and fix things. One of my biggest pet peeves is having somebody come in with blood work that they already had at their medical doctor and the doctor told them it was fine. And I'm like, there's nothing fine about this. Um, <laughs> a lot of times, especially with kidney disease, wow. they wait until it's stage four and then they tell you you have stage four. And I'm like, why didn't they tell you when it was stage one? So anyway, there's Crazy. always a progression. Um, but testing is, is important. So I do comprehensive lab work. I do um, hair analysis, which is really important for veterans because you've had a lot of exposure to a lot of chemicals, which those chemicals also have a lot of heavy metals in them. So it lets me see if you have mercury, cadmium, lead, aluminum, um, what else? Arsenic, these different metals, if you've had you know exposure that's affecting your body so that we can be very specific about detoxifying that. Um, I have programs where you don't even have to see me. You don't even have to have a visit with me. I have a program called Nutrients RX where you simply go to the lab in your town 
You get your blood work tested and we put together a custom packet of supplements for you based on your lab work. So everything is customized um, and it's all about what you need because for 10 different people that have high blood pressure, there can be 10 different reasons why. And so I'm always looking for the underlying cause, why that's there, remove the insult and give the body the nutrients to heal. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Janine. And I thank you for just taking time out of your busy day as a doctor to just share all this information. And for all those people out there, I'm going to have the link in the description to this um, actual site that you see between us so that you can go and you can check out Dr. Janine, get the service and the help you need. And I just want to say, Dr. Janine, from my heart to your home, thank you so much. Love you. God bless you. Thank you for all the help that you have given me and my wife. And I can attest that everything that you said, it works. And there's some things I got to get better at because I'm one of those people I don't like meds, but at the same time, the things that you have given me has helped me with that. And just thank you. I can't say thank you enough. And I pray that, you know, <laughs> the Lord just bless you mightily and he opened doors that no man could close for you just taking your time out to help us veterans. So thank you. You know what? It's, it's my absolute pleasure. I'm honored to be here, honored to work with you and your family. And, you know, I always tell people every step in the right direction is a step in the right direction. You don't yes, have man. to have it all figured out overnight. Take one thing, do one thing better than you did yesterday, and you're moving in the yes, right man. direction. And then you continue to add those things. So as you start to improve, when people come to see me, I don't tell them to go home and throw away their medicine. No, absolutely not. We work to get your body healthy enough to where you no longer need it. And that's a process. Yes, so it's all a process. Um, I have a whole list of resources there. And just, you know, start with one thing and then go to the next, the next, and, and just make it a process. And you'll get there. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, this has been another episode of Vet Talk. This has been your boy, Brother Vince, and Dr. The Great Janine. Vet Talk out. And Dr. Janine, you have a blessed day and enjoy the rest of your day as well. <laughs>